YouTube, D4G here. Hey man, y'all know your boy was moving, man. So I finally got this chance to get back into these tag videos that I done missed. Today, man, we got a tag video, man. Top five Middle Eastern fragrances <laughs> for all white party, you know what I mean? Shout out to my guy, Jeremy over at House of Colossus. He was the one that tagged me in this. So I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. We've been waiting too long for this. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Starting off with the first fragrance on the list, we're gonna go ahead and start off with Amber Ooh Gold Edition. Yes, sir. Hey, man, if y'all know about this, you already know, man. Zerzhoff Herba Pura. Very nice, man. Bergamot, green notes, melon, sweet notes, musk, and some woody notes. Hey man, this is one of them, I'm telling you, one of them sweet, beautiful, full body type of fragrances. Extremely sweet, extremely fruity in the opening. That's gonna be thanks to the melon that you're gonna get in the initial spray, mixing together with those sweet notes and the green notes. Bergamot adds a little bit of citrus, but I promise you that bergamot is like in the back end of the fragrance compared to the melon, sweet notes, and the fruits that you're gonna be getting in the open. Starts to transition to the dry down. You do have a little bit of a musk feature that, that, that's gonna come out, but the musk does not compare to those woodsy notes that you're gonna get in the dry down. It's mostly gonna be woodsy notes in the dry down, hemp with a little bit of musk, followed by still keeping that melon and some of those fruity notes that you have in the opening. Very beautiful fragrance, very loud fragrance. Me wearing this fragrance, I know that I'm gonna come off very inviting. This fragrance just has a very nice inviting smell. And with how big of a body that this thing has in it, easy to love. And even though this fragrance does have fruit notes in it, the ladies still dig this one. Starting the list off, going with Amber Gold, Gold Edition. Now the second fragrance on this list is gonna be more so of a twist than it is an actual clone or something, but for Middle Eastern, Hey, this is one that you definitely wouldn't mind rocking to an all-white party. And I'm talking about Odyssey Own White Edition. Damn, this one right here. Think of an Invictus mixed with Stronger With You. Think of Stronger With You first, then with Invictus. I personally think of an Invictus twist with like a Stronger With You twist in the dry down. But that's just me. Pink pepper, grapefruit, sea note, amber, and guap wood. Yeah, damn, yeah, man, man. I, I, I enjoy this one, man. I want to say this might have been one of the fragrances throughout this summer and springtime that I was rocking the most. I can honestly say that this one almost became a dumb reach for me. It was just easy to just grab and go. Very nice citrus, spicy, a little bit of aquatic type of opening that you're going to get in this one. Basically, pink pepper, grapefruits, and sea nuts. That's all I can say. That's, that's most of what you're going to get in the opening of this one. Now, once you hit the dry down, more of that amber and guac wood is going to be a main fit player. And if you already know Stronger With You, those are two of the main notes that you get in the dry down, the most Stronger With You fragrances. So, yes, it does still have that Stronger With You DNA in it, but I'm telling you, man, the way that grapefruit, the way those C notes, and even that pink pepper spice in the opening, yeah, hey, hey, man, I just, I must say, man, it does have a little bit of a Paco Rabanne and Victus feel to it. But either way, I'm telling you, I'm shining at the all-white party. Second fragrance, Odyssey on White Edition. Now this next one is clean, this next one is bright, this next one is fizzy in a way. You know what I'm saying? I almost gonna be smelling like a Sprite or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Boy, if you don't- The number three fragrance, we decided to hit them with Porto Neroli from Mason L. Homer. Neroli, lemon, Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Lavender, and Herbal Notes. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, man, fizzy, extremely fizzy. Almost has like a Sprite-like opening. I said this before, man, this fragrance for some reason reminds me of like a Lemon Frosted Flakes with how sweet it is. Because it does have a little bit of a sweetness to it, but it's mostly like a fresh citrus with a faint sweetness in the background. Neroli is gonna play a big part in this. Those four notes are gonna play a big part in this. You got jasmine and you have the orange blossom. Now it's not gonna be an extremely full fragrance like a rose. It's not gonna come off sickening. It's not gonna come off feminine. You're still gonna have a masculine leaning fragrance that's gonna come off more so herbal, citrus, and floral in a way. Another one of those easy to wear fragrances, very light, very heavy on the aromatics. Yeah, man. <laughs> not gonna talk too much about this one either, man. Y'all know what's up. This is your discontinued 
But if you can still get your hands on it, they still have it around on Amazon, eBay, as well as a few other websites. So definitely type it in if it's one that you're trying to get your hands on. And come on, man. Look at the presentation. You know what we're going after. This is very nice. The number three fragrance, Port on the Road. Now, the fourth fragrance is one that I've talked about very little, but that does not take away from what it means for this all-white party. <laughs> I'm going to stand out. I'm talking about Kalat Al Arabia, aka Royal Blends from the House of Latop. Fruits, apple, spices, nutmeg, amber, and woody notes. This is another one of those fragrances that's gonna be high in the fruit department. Again, you got fruits, you got apple, you got a lot of sweetness that's gonna be coming at you, but it's not overly sweet. Shout out to the spices and the nutmeg in this fragrance because that's what really helps dial it down, especially in that opening. It dials down that green apple sweetness, it dials down those fruits drastically and makes it a very unisex style fragrance, somewhat more masculine in a way. Amber and woody nuts are gonna take up most of the dry down. Yeah, fam, just know that this fragrance is a bowl of fruity goodness, man. It really is that good. Fruit, spices, this is one that's very nice. Now, this one, I would not say go blind and buy this one like all the other ones. This one, you might want to sample. I can see this one sitting on a lot of people's shelves. But for me personally, I can see myself rocking this one, and I would rock this one out to an all-white party, feeling comfortable, feeling confident, feeling myself really and ready to make a scene. And, you know what I'm saying? Do what we got to do. Fourth fragrance on the list, had to hit him with that Royal Blends from the House of Latasha. And the last fragrance on the list is one that I wanted to do for my, my gentlemen out there, my, my older guys out there. I wanted to be able to have something that I think that they would be able to rock out comfortably to an all-white party. And for that, just for you, for the House of Armagh. Pink pepper, bergamot, nutmeg, cedar, leather, and birch. Very clean fragrance, man. Very clean fragrance with a nice leather dry down. You still get a little bit of that leather in the opening. I would more so wear this one more so during the spring and transitional times on those white parties. All these other ones, hey, if it's hot, let it bang. Do your thing. But when it's cold or a little bit more transitional, this one right here is gonna be that one. This is definitely for my older gentlemen with style. Those, these guys right here, Think of, think of like T Smell Good. Somebody who's dressed like T Smell Good. My guy Goldie, man. Shout out to him. He always laced with the right gear. I can see Goldie rocking this one to an all white party and really enjoying himself. Again, this is one of those fragrances that has a little bit of aromatics to it. Still has a nice spiciness, but that leather and birch combo in the dry down, to me, that's where the magic is at. And that's where things start to really pop off. And hey, it's nice, man. I'm just going to say that. It's very nice. Last fragrance on the list. We will win just for you by our mom. But that's gonna be the video there, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. What fragrances would y'all rock on this list to an all-white party? And then what fragrances do you have in your own that you would wear to an all-white party? Y'all know I'm always down to hide a conversation, so let's get it started. But with all that being said, we about to get up out of here. Hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of it, fam. D4G truly blessed. That's simple. Great. That's. We out.